Hey, Mr. Willis here, and I'm going to show you how to add photos and also uh, erase a background from a photo so you can combine two photos together in Adobe Spark. So I've got a document here started where I put some text on it. I'm ready to do something with the photo down here. In this case, I would like to make it look like I'm on the Enterprise uh, well, because I'm a big geek and I love Star Trek. So why not? So first thing you need to do is you need to to get the photos you're going to use, all right? They have a, a thing where you can look up photos within Adobe Spark. It is a little, a bit limited. If you've already saved a photo, you can use the upload button, or if you've got something in your Google Drive, you could cl click this to connect. So I'm gonna show you real quick. Like, let's say I'm gonna open up a new tab and look for a photo of the Enterprise Bridge. And there's a picture of the Enterprise Bridge right there. Okay. And so when I find a good photo, and just a tip when you're looking at photos in, a, in an Adobe search, make sure you click on the photo so you see the big version here. We don't want to take the really tiny version. But on the big version, I'm going to right click it. And then, or that is two finger click with your touchpad. And then I'm going to save this image. So save image as. It's going to pop up. Uh, on my Chromebook here, I can either just save it in my downloads, or if you want, you could put it into your Google Drive. I'm just going to do my downloads for right now. Uh, make sure you know what it's named down here. So, so Vegas Bridge, that's so I, just so I know what it is. And then hit save. Okay. And then I can go back to Adobe Spark. And now, let's get that out of the way. There we go. Uh, now I can use the upload photo button. And remember, the important thing is you need to remember, where'd you save the picture? Yeah, we got these other pictures of me first. So for this one, I'm gonna go to downloads and there's that picture of the bridge. So I'm gonna click on that, click on open, and it's going to put the picture of the enterprise into my document. Now, as you could probably guess, when you click on the picture, you can of course move it around and resize it and different, different things like that, okay? Um, now I want to add a picture of me to make it look like I'm here on the bridge. So let's go back and get a picture of me. Now I took a picture right before I made this video with the Chromebook camera app. Okay. I'm not going to retake the picture right now, but you know, use your Chromebook camera app to take a picture. And then when I go to upload photo, if you click on camera over here, you'll see there's some pictures I took. Uh, man, I was angry in that one. I'll take this one where I'm kind of saying, whoa, I'm in space. I, I don't know. Um, and it's going to add that picture. Okay. So now I've got this picture of me. I can kind of put it on top of the other picture. And the issue is now, of course, it's still got, you know, I'm obviously not in space. I'm obviously in my room. You can see the whole background and stuff here. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to zoom this in just a little bit so you can see it better. Um, how do we get rid of that? It's actually really easy. So as long as I've clicked on the picture over here is a button that says remove background. I'm going to click on that. And Adobe is actually going to kind of analyze the photo and figure out. So you'll see there, it kind of went and erased the background automatically. Now you see how it kind of took a chunk of my head away there. Watch if I click show full image, you can kind of see that was because I had uh, that light right behind me. And it was, well, it was, to be honest, it was shining off my bald head. And so it did that. So this is why sometimes it might be a good idea to take these pictures if you've got just a nice blank something to put behind you, a green screen or just a blank wall or something is often a good idea, but it still does a pretty good job. So when you're looking at this, you can actually adjust the erasing a little bit. So you saw how I can click this little button so I can still see like everything that it, it erased is in red. Um, but I can actually go back here with these tools to have an erase and a restore tool. So like I could go to the restore tool and let's zoom this in a little bit more. And I can actually restore a little bit of that from the edge of my head to kind of bring my head back. Okay. Just to fix that a little bit. Uh, or if I wanted to erase more, let's say I didn't want to actually see my chair behind me. I can click on erase and I might make this just a little smaller. And then I can erase that little part of my chair from behind me so that it's just me. Or if you're doing a picture where maybe all you want is your face, you could erase your whole shoulders and whatever else uh, that you need to. Okay. Once you've got the cutout kind of all figured out the way you want it to look, you hit the check mark. 
And that is all there is to it. So as I zoom back out a little bit more here, you can see now uh, it's got just there I am right there on the bridge. The two pictures are blended together nicely. Um, if you, So that's that. There's a lot more you can do in Adobe Spark. This is the last in this little series of, of videos that I'm making, but uh, I might make some more in the future. Get in there and explore. See what else you can figure out and uh, what else you can create with this tool.